Greetings and welcome. This is the Gadget 360 show. My name is Rajiv Makni and the name of the game today is Awesome Tech. We'll talk about Dell's Alienware, a brand new powerful gaming desktop, improved cooling, zero to minimum lag. We love this one. A special story, Asus, their 200th experience store opened up. It is very, very interesting what Asus is doing. I mean, they don't want you now to just think about the product. They want you to come and try it out. Try it out, get your hands on it, and then only buy it. The experience store, I went out there, and that is my report. We still continue our coverage from the Mobile World Congress. This time it's MediaTek. Their booth at MWC had so many interesting things, including a digitally connected microwave and oven and a phone satellite connections and cool test with some dancers too. We'll also go to the Zebronix Pixar Play 18. This is the vertical projector, high resolution, fast processor. But is it better than previous Zebronix projectors and others in this category? Let's first start off with news coming in from the world of gadgets. Sony is back with a brand new soundbar, the HD S2000. It delivers high quality 3D surround sound for a true theatrical immersive experience. It has built in subwoofers and front speakers for the best music and dialogue sound. It is easy to connect and use with one step setup and an app for easy control. We look forward to experiencing it in person. LG recently announced the launch of the new Multi-VI, a variable refrigerant flow solution paired with the company's next-generation AI. It is a reliable aid for buildings like schools, offices and malls because it is powerful yet energy efficient. The Multi-VI comes with a series of smart features to deliver an energy-saving, comfortable indoor environment. Sennheiser merely days ago launched another powerful audio device, the Profile USB Microphone. It is a mic that is built to last, completely made with premium metal and includes features like gain and mix control. As the name suggests, it is easily powered and connected by USB-C. It is a great tool for your workflow. Our top review today is Dell's Alienware Aurora R15 desktop, 13th gen Intel processor, extremely silent for a desktop that is this powerful, thermal and liquid cooling, air access on every side, Nvidia's Reflex technology, redesigned motherboard, very realistic ray tracing, you know, something that we're starting to see come in phones, you can actually now experience it on this particular desktop. 20 plus ports for better connectivity. This is an absolute rocket. Here's our review. Dell unveiled a lineup of remarkable gaming products earlier this year. We have one of the top flagship products from the set, the Alienware Aurora R15. There are a lot of gaming devices that are making their way to the market this year. So, with such high competition, will the desktop stand out? We tell you. The R15 is undoubtedly a cool looking desktop with the typical Alienware Legend 2.0 design. It essentially looks like a honeycomb-shaped desktop with hexagonal dents to provide air from every side. Not only does it look cool, but it is also efficient. It comes in the lunar light color, giving it an elegant space-like appearance. One of the sides has a glass window that reveals part of the inside, showing a few fans, cables and more. The opposite side door opens to reveal improved cable management. Let's be honest, when it comes to powerful machines, it can get very messy if the cable are not handled well and the R15 does a great job of managing that. This allows for room to add other important resources. The desktop comes with over 20 ports in the back including USB-A's, USB-C's, AUX, mic-in, side surround output, Ethernet port and much more. There are few additional ports in the front as well. Even internally, the desktop has an improved architecture. In fact, they have a redesigned motherboard. It holds the 13th gen Intel processor which is extremely powerful. The jump from the 12th to the 13th generation has been a leap, especially in terms of performance. So this desktop brings you a much higher performance. We tested out the CPU and it scored high in both single-core and multi-core processing, which of course should not be surprising since it is one of the top processors. We will not bore you with the details, but it essentially adds to what we said about it being extremely powerful. Not only does it have one of the best CPUs, but it also comes with the latest NVIDIA graphics card, the RTX 4090. The results are easily noticeable while gaming. 
The GPU offers so many benefits, one of which is the NVIDIA Reflex technology that makes sure there is zero to minimal lag, which is a must for pro gamers. It also provides realistic ray tracing, making the experience truly immersive. The colors and sharpness is remarkable. One common area of growth among a lot of gaming products has been in cooling technologies. And this is also true for the R15. There is a lot of work that has been put into heat management, starting with the Alienware Cryotech for improved thermal cooling. This comes along with exclusive lighting features. Lighting is almost expected of gaming products in today's day and age, so the internal blue light is hip but not surprising at this point. Coming back to the cooling technologies, the R15 also offers liquid cooling along with the hexagonal sides and the many fans we talked about earlier. There are so many parts working against overheating, making sure you have the perfect gaming experience. The best part is that despite all these internal processes, the desktop is surprisingly quiet. The R15 in comparison to the previous model has achieved 5% lower CPU temperatures while delivering 68% more power, enabling passionate gamers to play to their max potential. It is definitely a powerful machine but it comes at an exorbitant cost of Rs 5,39,989. If you are a gaming pro and are okay with this price, this is a great deal. The important thing with gaming devices is to know how it fares over time and that is something we are going to be looking forward to especially considering Alienware desktops are not usually great at upgrades. We are curious to see how the R15 plays out. Now come along with me, I am going to take you to Asus's store event. This is the 200th store in India. This is an experience store. You can just go out there and try things out. I always say laptops especially and gaming devices should always be tried. because You never know how you will feel once we get it. This is the place to do it. I am here for the tour of Asus's 200th physical store. They have done a really interesting job with this entire store. It is in Nehru place, 200th store. Let's take a quick look at what the store has. So tell me, what is the strategy? Why are you concentrating so much on physical retail like this? This is very, you know, demos and experience and people can come and try hands-on. Why is that important for us? I think I will answer in two ways, okay? okay. The first is about the end user behavior. I think in India people, when they buy a, a laptop, they want to use it for now. So before buying, they must touch and feel. The, the youngest populations that they want to play the games, and the best place to, to, for them to test the game is come to our RG store and there's a 5x5 five five, so that even they can bring the team to fight together. Okay. So that they can experience so, the so game. So this is and the back, battle zone too, huh? Exactly, exactly, exactly. We just crossed 200, but every month we want to open more something like 15 to 20 stores wow. more. Okay. By end of the year of 2023, our goal is to reach 300 stores across the year. Really, in this year itself? Yes, in, it, in this year itself. Uh, okay, so I look forward to coming for the 300 store opening also. Sure, definitely we will invite you again. <laughs> How has the journey been from 1 to 200 and what are the big learnings that you've had? Yes, to be honest, we learned a lot over these 10 years. We opened the first shop in 2011, but this is a 200 store. In between, we also have lots of up and downs. And finally, we learned the key is not just open a store. Okay. The key is to provide this kind of experience. But to be honest, customers want more than touch and feel. They want to hear to use it. This should be the right concept of retail store to get the customer a real experience for the latest technology. Like you mentioned, more and more people come. So we also develop a new system to book the slot in okay. advance. Because okay. we are also worried that you wait way too long. Now so you'll have to book a lot of slots. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you have to uh, are invited please. to come here. Yeah, Please come to Bukhara Slide and play here the whole day. So he is utilizing this place as good as everybody should be. Now this is I think the part that I really enjoy in this store. The fact that they've made a gaming zone. Not just here to come and experience a little bit or touch and feel. Come in here and game for as long as you like and then realize if this is the right product for you or not. Let me give you a quick tour of all the stuff that you can actually come and try in the ROG gaming zone. This is the ASUS, the Duo 16 Zephyrus. 
One of the best laptops I've seen mainly because it's got one screen, second screen, and you can use this screen as a control panel, as a secondary display. Lots and lots of very cool things in this one. Let's take a quick look. Now the ROG Flow 13 again, brilliant stuff in this including great specs but the best part, laptop, tablet and a really good kickstand. I always wanted my name up on the billboard, but I can't I can actually do it. So this is the anime matrix, the one on the back screen. All this amazing stuff you're seeing, you can even have your name flashing. So like, if you really want to maybe get introduced to someone, you're sitting across the table, you can even have a, hi, I'm Rajiv Makni. Take a look, this is another awesome laptop that they've displayed here. And this is the most powerful machine out here. I mean, it looks it also. This is at a completely different level. Just take a look at the specs that this machine actually has built in. Rocket. Let's take a break right now on the Gadget 360 show. When we come back, lots more happening. We're going to go back to the Mobile World Congress in Barcelona for the MediaTek booth. Bigger stall than they'd ever done before. A satellite connectivity through smartphone feature right now. An oven that is actually digitally connected. I've been always against all of that. I love this one. And a lot of other devices that are powered by MediaTek. I'm now here at MediaTek at the Mobile World Congress and I have to say that this is MediaTek on a roll. So this is a brand and a company and technology that is growing and they're showcasing it here. I think I remember whenever I've come out here, they must be about this size, that's pretty much it. Now they've gone about 10 times, 12 times larger, shows the expanse and also their confidence in what they're doing and the kind of stuff that they've shown out here. There are mobile phones, each of them with the MediaTek uh, processor inside, MediaTek technology inside. Many have not been released in India, so I'm going to quickly show you those. Then we have a very interesting experiment and a demo that they're showing of how they can do bokeh effects in focus. And I have two dancers for you for that. Let me take you there. Dancers to Aapne Dekhli and you know you have to tell me whether you enjoyed that or not. I really did. That was really authentic dancing, right? So now I'm showing you exactly what happened out here. Aap dekhi, isme the focus is on the dancer at the back and the front mein jo hai, she's in a bokeh kind of a, you know, almost with that beautiful way that actually it blurs out. Focus right now on her and the focus comes back here. This tarike se ye switching ho rahi hai. This is almost impossible before. Is there a particular focus area or does MediaTek just want to be everywhere? Absolutely. So MediaTek has to be everywhere. You said it rightly actually. In smartphones and beyond smartphones. And the entire product portfolio of MediaTek, you know, it is which is catering to, you know, typically talking about the smartphones, we have a flagship series. And uh, lately some of the interesting models launched with that of flips and the folds. And there's little more to come, you know, which, you know, end consumer will certainly going to be enjoying a lot with these uh, Dimensity uh, 9000 plus based phones, Dimensity 9200 was being launched uh, lately by MediaTek. Wherever we go, right, we need a connectivity, right? So wherever we are not connected cellularly, we'll be able to connect ourselves uh, with the satellite, right? So that's when I'm sure, you know, there's going to be a lot of applications, you know, which will be available. It's going to be really, really interesting technology. The future is going to be awesome <laughs> for all. And this may be the most exciting thing I'm going to show you here at MediaTek. So this is a satellite phone. This is the Motorola Defy. 
even if you don't have a satellite phone, just using this connects you to a satellite network. So through Bluetooth to your phone, you're out in a jungle, you're in an area, you're abroad, you don't have any network connectivity with that particular country, emergency, you can actually send an SMS, you can send out any kind of a message, you can make a voice call. I'm going to even show you a demo of a video call being made with a satellite phone that has no other connectivity at all. The satellite phone reached to Chernobyl through the uh, Leo satellite channel, uh, channel. and the 5G core connect to the public network. Any device connect to the public network, they can reach each other. So now I will uh, do a live demo. I just use my normal phone here and then I make a call to the satellite phone. You can see the call is coming. Pick it up. So now, yeah, the, the, the video call is transmitted through the uh, Leo uh, satellite. Naam hai mera June. Avan hu mein smart. It's exactly what June does. It's a smart oven with MediaTek smarts inside. So there's a processor inside. Put in anything, a full chicken, a bagel, maybe raisins. It will recognize what it is, what is the size, what is the weight, how to cook it. All you have to do is say, okay. The app will remind you it's about to be ready. And the Zebronix Pixar Play 18 is our next story. This is our review of the vertical projector. Nice small little thing, portable quad-core processor, built-in speaker, it's full HD video quality only. This is a market that is really growing. Let's take a look if this is the best in its category. Zebronix India is back with their new projector, the Pixar Play 18. Considering this projector was launched nearly months after its predecessor, the Pixar Play 17, we are curious as to whether it has anything more to offer or was it too quick of an entrance? Let's find out. At first glance, it is easy to note that the Pixar Play 18 physically looks nothing like its forerunner. It seems like Zebronix has gone back to its older vertical look last found on the Pixar Play 14. It is not as compact or light as before, but is still portable. It has a screen size of up to 508cm, which is normal for Zebronix projectors. The image is displayed via the LED light in the front that promises around 30,000 hours of longevity. It produces 3800 lumens of light, which is just the right amount of brightness needed to produce a quality image. Not much is expected from projectors when it comes to picture quality, but the resolution has gone up over the years. The Pixar Play 18 projects videos at 1080p Full HD, which is a leap from the past. The image quality is sharp and crisp, though still incomparable to televisions. The projector can be useful for viewing purposes like for watching movies or sports and can also be beneficial for practicing presentations and demonstrations. Being vertical may not have heavily impacted the picture quality, but it has offered a much bigger built-in speaker that is literally half the size of the projector. It allows for a high volume range, beneficial for a movie night or for watching sports, though the quality itself is only adequate. There is even an aux port included to connect external speakers. It has some other ports at the back like the HDMI and USB-A ports that allow for easy connection to external devices like laptops and phones. The projector also gives the option to connect devices via Bluetooth. It additionally has Wi-Fi capabilities to stream content without needing an external source. The projector comes with a remote that provides basic functions like tweaking the volume, changing inputs, etc. But what stands out is the electronics focus button that helps you adjust the lens to focus the video for perfect clarity. This multifunctional projector comes at the cost of Rs 22,999, which is not the cheapest but still affordable. As a projector itself, the Pixar Play 18 is a great option, with its full HD resolution, massive speaker and connectivity options, but as an upgrade, it doesn't have much extra to offer. That then was the Gadget 360 show for this week. Lots of crazy good stuff coming in next week. Do join me, Rajiv Makni, 
on the show.